Welcome again. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the second type of techniques for link analysis that is called prestige based techniques. According to prestige, a node or an actor is considered to be more prestigious if it is the recipient of a high number of edges. This is one of the major differences between centrality and prestige. If this is our node, according to centrality, it's going to get a high score if there are more number of edges in general or the outgoing edges in particular from this node. Again, this can be easily manipulated in the context of search engines if a page is, is linking to a large number of pages, then that page is going to get a high centrality value. So it can be easily manipulated that people can have pages that without any particular relevance can link to a large number of pages. However, if there are only few n links directed towards this node, so that is going to decide how much people are putting trust in this node. So prestige considers the end links while centrality considers either all the in and out links or just particularly the out links. In case of social networks, a person can achieve to have a high centrality value by following a large number of people. Whereas according to prestige, that person or actor is only going to be prestigious when there are more number of people following that node. So this is one of the major differences between prestige and centrality. Prestige can be of three types that is degree prestige, proximity prestige and page rank. According to degree prestige, we can calculate it for any node i that is the incident degree of node i divided by the total number of nodes minus one. And we have to consider a directed graph for this because it only considers the incident edges and that can only be the case when the network is a directed one. So if we have to calculate the degree prestige for a node for the node 1, it's going to be the incident degree of node 1. So there is only one edge directed towards 1. So that is going to be 1 divided by we have a total of 6 nodes and 6 minus 1 is going to make it 5 and therefore its degree prestige is going to have a value of 0.2. The same way the degree prestige of node 2 can be calculated as the incident edges on the node 2. So we have a total of 2 such edges. So that is going to be 2 by 5 and the value is going to be 0.4. So this way we can calculate the degree prestige for all the nodes in the network. Again, this part is playing the role of normalization and is bringing all the values into the range of 0 and 1. The next type of approach is called proximity based prestige. Proximity as we can see is more like the closeness that if a node is close to most of the nodes or has many nodes in its proximity, then that is going to give it a high value. So the prestige proximity of a node I can be calculated as the sum of shortest paths of all the nodes from I divided by the total number of nodes that can reach I. So let's say if we have to calculate it for the node 1, proximity prestige of node 1 is equal to. So let's first look out for the nodes that can reach 1 and that is going to define our set I of 1. So I of 1 is a set that consists of nodes that can reach 1. So 2 can reach 1, 3 can reach 1, 4 can reach 1, 5 cannot reach 1 and 6 can reach 1. So this is the total number of nodes that can reach 1. So let's just add up the shortest distance of all of them. So 2 can reach 1 in a single step so that would be 1 plus again considering all the edges to have weights or costs of 1. 3 can reach 1 in 2 hops so that would be from first towards 2 and then 1 so that is going to be a cost of 2. From 4 we can reach 1 in 3 steps so first we'll have to get to 3 then 2 and then 1 so that would be 3 and from 6 we can reach to 1 in 4 steps and the total number of objects that we have in this set are 4 so that is going to be 10 divided by 4 
the proximity prestige of the node 1 is going to be 2.5. The same way we can calculate the proximity prestige for all the other nodes. Let's just calculate it for one more node and with that we will conclude this topic. So the proximity prestige of the node 4 can be calculated as let's just find i of 4 first that would consist of all the nodes that can reach the node 4. So this half of the graph cannot reach 4, 5 cannot reach 4, so only 6 can reach 4. So we are only going to have 6 in this set. And 6 can reach 4 in a single step, so that is going to be 1 divided by 1 and would give us a value of 1. So that's how we can conclude proximity for any given node. These techniques are better in comparison to the centrality based approaches and cannot be easily fooled and therefore in order to build such following or end links they need to work harder and longer and therefore this approach is much more stable in identifying important nodes. The next type of approach for calculating prestige is page rank and that is a very important topic therefore we will cover it in a separate lecture. Thank you.